That was close. We almost came back. Um, ended up being pretty close with all of those challengers and everything, too. Okay, let's see. So we'll keep stalking shadows, and we're going to mulligan. Definitely mulliganing these. Um, Vile Feast. We're going to mulligan that, too. Let's just keep the stalking shadows to be able to help dig. It's possible we have too many spells, just in general, that we need more units. And because it could have even been Maokai, that we would have uh, blighted Caretaker to weigh the Maokai. Um, yeah, if it was just anything, then we would have been able to go wide. We would have had two extra attackers, and then they would have had blockers. So yeah, we would, would have won that game if that Fury of the North was just any unit whatsoever in our deck. Even if it was the seven mana for another snap fine, we would have been able to play both of those. We would have been fine. There's plenty of killing there. It's a little unfortunate. Okay, so that just got rid of an Overgrown Snapbind. So this is my only Overgrown Snapbind in my deck now. Because we just tossed one. Looking for trouble. Because there's only two in the deck. Guide us. This is problematic. This is our way. <laughs> so we'll have, uh, we can still keep our Wanderer alive with the Elixir of Iron. Let's get to it. Possibly, possibly Elixir of Iron should be um, the new card, Troll Chant. I wonder if we would have done a better job of keeping... Um, if we would have done a better job of keeping some, some things alive if it would have been Troll Chant. Killing the Mage Seeker gets rid of their scout. But I think this next turn, they do the scout attack and then I vengeance Misfortune. I think we're just going to have to do that. Because, uh, you know, they, they need two attacks to level up Misfortune. And so I definitely assume they're going to do the scout attack and then I vengeance Misfortune. Track them down. So Misfortune won't level up. Dangerous waters. <laughs> so we're at nine life. Today don't be riches. You have to get me out of here. Let's move down to five. Be gone, thief. Okay. I was worried about like repose. Like if I blocked the way that I was going to originally, I was definitely really worried about repose. The weak don't deserve mercy. All right, so we're at eight, and they have this thing. We'll have to figure out a way to kill that thing. Neverglade Collector. That's a way to kill it. Let's get this in play here before the Overgrown Snap Line. 
because it'll stay out here as the Neverglade Collector. So each time that we play something, and each time something dies. <laughs> that works. Get this drain in. That was a really, really great Neverglade Collector draw. No, I'll just wait. We could play the Stalking Shadows right there. We'll, let's just wait. Ooh. I like that Vile Feast. So down to six. It's probably okay. I think. Collector, so this should it should die. Yep, drain him. A vile feast. That spider will die. Drain him, and so on, and then start making five threes. The sea beasts will fear us. This works out. <laughs> yeah, this is such a sweet combination. Sentinels of light. Don't fear the dark. All right, well, we're gonna need a stalking shadows to find something else, but I'm gonna just pass first. The beats will wait. Okay. So this will block here. This will block here. This will block. I might as well block this one. Let's be down to zero. Okay. We can't go down to zero. Goes down to four. Okay. Four is good. We can we can handle four. Curses. Turn me to the All right. Let's see what we get. Warden's Prey, please. Thank you. Oh, this is great. We have the two copies. We're going to just burn them out. We're going to be a burn deck. <laughs> Let's get some 5 threes. Oh, man. A Mage Seeker Conservator. So we get a good expensive spell. We already have the pack mentality that we're about to play. This is sweet. All right, we had our warm-up game. Now we're doing it. Yeah, so there, there's this eye right here, Oracle's Eye. If you mouse over this Oracle's Eye, it will show you how the spells in combat will resolve. So that's how you can that's how you can see uh, what the math will look like. Pack mentality should have a, a cool animation. GGS. All right, one and one. Life triumphs for once. That was awesome. Ooh, mid-range frostbite. That deck's really good. So let's see if we can stun him. We're definitely going to want to level up our Leona pretty quickly because Leona dies to Culling Strike, and that's rough. I'm just going to keep this hand, actually. We could mulligan the Minotaur Reckoner, but... I don't know, I like Minotaur Reckoner quite a bit. And we already have things to be doing in the early turns, anyway. I like the Bastion to be able to protect against a Culling Strike for something like Leona. Ours is the one true light. Get him, soldier. Devotion to battle. I do want to get rid of this Omen Hawk somehow before Reckoner. Cool. Because I don't want, like, you know, stun the weakest enemy. I don't want to be stunning Omen Hawk. I want the, you know, I want to be stunning something a little bit better. Uh, now, Infinite Mind Splitter and Katarina are both definitely our late game cards. It's a good Omen Hawk hit. So, if I knew I would have had those two cards, I probably would have mulliganed with the Minotaur Reckoner. Uh, 
So this would draw... I guess... Meteor Shower? Meteor Shower kills Ash. Yeah. Daylight warms the, heart and lights the other card would draw a lot bigger Leona. Gotcha. So if they play something, then I'll be able to play Leona, because then they won't be able to Culling Strike this turn. And next turn I can have my Bastion available. We kind of need one extra All mana. On one arrow. Uh, maybe I'll just do this. Never mind. We're just going to kill Ash. Cold. So yeah, I need one extra mana right now to be able to have Leona plus Bastion. Perfect. Let's play this. Keep our three extra mana. I don't know. Warrior, I guess. In her radiant blessing. Faster than my arrow? I think not. These stories were true. I like having a Reckoner uh, plus Bastion. I like that. Swiftly now. Believe or burn. Yeah, that's just how it's going to be. Okay. So they're scared of Ravenous Flock. That's why they would do that. You pay, I fight. Only the finest serve. Mm. Scared stiff, huh? So I'm thinking, like, Warrior, try to kill Ash. And that's why we need Bastion. Stop the, them calling strikes. If they have Troll Chant, that'd be real rough. I thought you'd run. I yourself. Good, no troll chant. Wow. Wow. Okay. Huh. They did have troll chant. I'm getting warmed up. I guess it makes sense to be able to use that to keep Ash alive, I guess. Puts me down to three. Face me down to six. Go down to six. Let's just go down to five and kill this thing. That probably makes more sense. Gonna be a close game. The time is right. Strike now. Wow. My aim is true. I wasn't expecting them to have an, another flash another spell like that because if they like why did they just do that originally and then attack and then I couldn't block with either of my zero power things like they probably would have just killed me that's a surprise I like blocking the three power thing with my Minotaur Reckoner to keep it at four health so they can't brittle steal Minotaur Reckoner that's what I'm thinking there get a mind splitter we fight for one Freljord. All right, it's done three things right away. So I go Leona, stun another thing. I guess it'd be better to go Robin first, Robin then Leona. Should I just go Zenith Blade? I'm also, I'm also definitely considering going with the Katarina, attacking with it, but. Today. Let's play the Robin. Let's get this in play. I don't think Bastion stops that from 
frostbiting my Or let's see, no, it'd only frostbite this card, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Never mind. I'm I was, you know, thinking that, that I was gonna be frostbiting everything and then I remember what Crystal Arrow does. Um, so yeah, they're just probably playing that for that. Uh because reckoning reckoning wouldn't be that bad. Even if they reckoning away Leona, it's still not that bad. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. The dawn has arrived. May it never leave. The sun's splendor reveals. Only two cards. Show them the way. And one of them was Omen Hawk. Yeah, let's attack with Mind Splitter. Yeah, I could have done that with the. Yes, I could have done that with playing two Katarinas again and extra attack this turn. I thought you'd run. Alright, so we'll stun that, stun that. They replaced the other thing that Mind Splitter would have stunned. I'll take the Obliterate. Glorious light rains down. Stun that. <laughs> I guess Ash does not need to attack for its for Ash's ability. Never Blessings from the sun. So hope that card for them is harsh winds. Because if it's not Harsh Winds, they in trouble. A shield for allies, a sword for enemies. So withdrawing, especially withdrawing, so I'm worried about, um... Okay, so basically, I'm wor with Morning Light, I'm worried about like harsh winds and stuff. So I really like this Pill Cascade. So like, even if they frostbite my Katarina, I can still Pill Cascade it, pick it up, and attack again. And so just gonna go with this. Give you know, have these have Overwhelm. And we can see how our deck just shuts them down. Time to work. Yeah, why, why would I not just attack with everything? Let's just attack with everything. Tread carefully. Stay back. Over there. The time is right. Strike now. And that's gonna be game. We'll be able to replay Katarina, get another attack. So that's what our deck does. Just play defense and then have Katarina finish it out. No one gets in my way. Perfect. They walked around. Let the bloodshed begin. Alright, GG's. We could play the Glory Seeker and kill Ash too if we wanted to. But that's fine. Daylight everlasting. Alright, we're gonna be doing another race here, Misfortune and Gangplank up next. Uh, yeah. So we'll have Fizz into Golden Narwhal into Draven. Most likely our Fizz is just going to trade with their one drop. 
I don't think... Oh, I could just go Saboteur. Alright, cool. We'll just play this on turn one. No one's the wiser, but yeah, it's a better turn one play. Awesome. So we got a point of damage in. Still traded. We can have Fizz for like a, a surprise elusive later. Alright, good card. So depending on what they do. They play a 2-2. Two -two, I'll play a 2-3. All right, the party has arrived. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Watch and learn. So we'll get us a second spinning axe. Good for Fizz. Clear it out. So I think we keep the golden narwhal alive with the transfusion. Sure about that? Those can just trade. But we'll keep that alive. Alright, so the Make It Rain just keeps their demolitions alive. Not done yet. That puts my Draven down to dangerously low. Keep up, keep up. Pick a car, that could be good. Coming in hot! <laughs> So if I attack with Draven, they block with Legion Grenadier, which gives their Gangplank right up. three out of five. It's still worth it, getting Legion Grenadier out of here and, and us drawing a Spinning Axe. That's worth it. Because I don't have good blockers much at all. We need to kill them next turn, so we're going to need to use Brother's Bond and Playful Trickster and stuff to kill them next turn. So just hopefully don't take 16 oh damage this turn. Ouch. Scout's hurt. All right, Precious Pet will just be a blocker. Bless is motion. Love ya. Yeah, that hurt. That was a good... Good card for them. You don't see too many people playing Island Navigator, but that was a great Island Navigator. Anything else? No, I, I like saving the Brothers. We didn't need to Brothers Bond right there. I like playing the, the Fizz there, where... Um, you know, maybe they think that their life total is a little higher than what it is. Like, the Brothers Bond wasn't going to kill them. Can I go to six? They're probably not going to have six points of burn, are they? I mean, it's definitely possible. But hopefully not. Okay. A lot of ways for me to go with this. I don't know what's the safest what way. For? I think the safest thing is going with this trickster. 
We can still use Fervor later. I mean, I think that getting another attack with the Fizz is probably the most valuable thing. And now we'll, we'll just play Legion Saboteur afterwards also. Especially how we're creating the Spinning Axe. Very unlikely that these two cards kill us. They have to be... They would have to be... I mean, I don't even know what they can be. Six damage? I mean, they have to be, like, double Noxion Fervor. Who's angry for action, eh? Explosives primed. Now we're cooking. We got to level up Fizz! Yeah! <laughs> Blue minion! There we go, GG's! Because even if they'd have something to target the Fizz, we still have the fervor to protect Fizz. And one with Fizz! Do we know? <laughs> yeah, that minion's cool. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Gotta keep trying though. Yeah, like my last yeah, my last couple of times playing against the Noxus Bilgewater, they've had incredibly ideal hands. You know, a, a constant what's the best thing you can have <laughs> and they've had it. Yes. Uh, question. All right. So, question is, maybe you should make changes based on results. Um, there are definitely times to do that, and we, and we have made one change. We we took out a progress day for a star shaping, but I don't I don't think that makes making sweeping changes like every game and, and based on a small number of results is is um, is always the best. I don't think that that's something that you should be doing too much. In her radiant blessing. But it's it's something to always keep in, keep in mind and consider you know consider while you're playing games and that's that's why playing more games having more experience is um, ideal. My spirit shines. Most likely Trundle. Then we play Sunburst on Trundle. These are trolls. So that's why I went ahead and just attacked for one first. But I'm king. Because yeah, we have we have been losing to Bilgewater and Oxus, but then changing our deck completely just to fight Bilgewater and Oxus, because then isn't always the best because then you just start getting paired against other stuff because you're not always going to get paired against Bilgewater Noxus using that deck for the example the current example we're going to be getting paired against different things Sunlight we can't have our, our deck only ready to face one thing um, I haven't struggled with Bilgewater Noxus near, nearly as much as we have today in the past It's a tough choice. I could get aggressive with the 4 1. We could have this immortal fire for turn 8. I guess I'm going to do that with, with how my hand's looking. They block the 3 3, set up Avalanche. I'm okay with that. I don't agree with the meta is not in a healthy place. I don't agree with that statement. I, there's a wide variety of 
like you can play all sorts of different things. You can play aggro, you can play mid range, you can play control, you you can play everything. Like there's, you know, I, I don't. There's not much else to hope for in a meta game than that. Like that's that's what you hope for, so you can that everything can be playable, and, and it is in this game. I think I think we've just been playing against some some opponents have had some really fortunate draws of having like just amazing you know like the the Bilgewater Noxus deck when it has an amazing curve is going to be really difficult to beat and that's what we've been running into today and we've been losing but I I don't think we need to change our deck drastically because of that I think we just realized that um, it's something to keep in mind in the future but we don't need to change anything yet. So the Living Legends is awesome, but I also am looking at having no space right now. But I, I'll just keep that for later, because I'm not going to play the other Traveler yet. Like, we're probably going to be playing this Immortal Fire next turn. I don't need that other Traveler for a while. So yeah, let's just take this Living Legends, even though... Like, Hushed isn't looking amazing. We have some other cards that we aren't really playing. Face me. Oh, I guess I don't get to Sunburst, do I? I don't get to Silence Trindamir, which was my plan. Maybe I should have played this Traveler first. Death itself can't stop me! Alright, so we'll cast the Hush. Just, I'm just gonna let damage happen. If they play, if they play some kind of spell to to kill my traveler, then we'll bastion. If not, we'll mystic shot. Either way, keep the overwhelm from happening. And now Trindamir won't. Yes, they violent fee, so I bastion. That works out. Impossible. Glad they attacked. I was worried that they wouldn't be attacking. Alright, go get him Immortal Fire. Especially how we can have Immortal Fire with Bastion back up after this turn. That could be nice. Good pass turn and they waste all this mana. Is eight damage wor worth them wasting an entire turn? It probably is, right? Like it's probably worth them wasting the turn. Let's see, so they're gonna go War Mother's Call next turn. Yeah, sure. Hopefully Sunburst kills whatever they get. Oh no. My plan. <laughs> My plan was Sunburst. Uh, that thing doesn't die to Sunburst. So basically what I'm trying to think of right now, do we want to... You know, let's just cast a Flash of Brilliance first. Let's start with that. Oh. Wow. Our Flash of Brilliance actually made a Sunburst. Because I don't want to pass turn to them and then they also pass. I don't want that to happen. And me not play anything. Okay, so Great Beyond. So the combination of Great Beyond and the Immortal Fire. We'll be able to kill them this next turn. It's 11, or that's 19 elusive. This one has a spell shield. We can spell shield the other one. Or, you know, it comes back whenever it dies. Bring them to justice. 
It was looking good. Just a little bit ago. So, I, so okay. I can hush. I can hush the she who wanders. Attack. They block my eight five. They take eleven. They go down to eight. Don't love that option. Which I guess I should be attacking with the eleven eight because of troll chant. And and this thing has fury also. Yeah. So I I should just attack with the great beyond. That was a mistake. Yeah, I forgot about the, the Fury part, too. <laughs> yep. Alright, definitely got punished. I guess Troll Chant would not have kept... I smell a fight. Yeah, I guess Troll Chant wouldn't have worked perfectly. Not to me. So, like, they, they want these things to die anyway just to clear up space. You know, this puts my thing down to two, two life. I do like the spell shield, especially how they've already used... Like, they've used a good amount of Vile Feast and Troll Chants and stuff like that. Uh, it's d basically depending upon whether to use the one Bastion here or whether to use just Gotcha and Mystic Shot. You know, like Hush, Trindamir, and then also Gotcha and Mystic Shot. One of those two to do. Okay, Withering Wheel is awesome. That gets rid of my spell shield. That's pretty good. Cast Hush on the She Who Wanders and keep it from regenerating. Um. But... I'm just going to keep my mana in past turn. Alright, let's see if we can kill them. <laughs> 21 damage. I guess not. I'm down to 12. I think this is where we gotta get Heimerdinger out and start being able to go wide. I do kinda wanna sunburst and hit the She Who Wanders with the sunburst. Um, I guess not. I could silence it, have it take the 4 damage, have it not regenerate, have it be a 10 4. Thirteen mana for Skies Descend. All right, gonna keep them from being able to do the whole vulnerable thing. So we'll see what we would have drawn if I would have gone Pale Cascade. I didn't. Go Pill Cascade, but we'll see what we would have been able to draw. Um. So now we're going to do it now. Oh, I would have had the Pill Cascade. Another one, so I guess, I guess maybe I could have had Lethal. Nope. 
they would have had unspeakable horror. I would not have lethal. Alright, so they have one Nightfall card, and then two random cards. Heimer needs one more turret to level up. Many tribes under one banner. Cool. Evers and Hearth Guard's not going to kill us. Our banner will lead the way. Kind of want to do this block and then Mystic Shot to kill She Who Wanders. This is a bad play against Ruination, though. Because now my Immortal Fire dies to Ruination. But even if they have Ruination, you know, we have Vi and a good amount of other, you know, we have we have some good stuff still. Alright, Pill Cascade, that was the Nightfall card they created. It's a good Nightfall card. And they drew another unspeakable horror. So no two ones for me. One girl wrecking crew. Our strength is yours. Okay, so this is eight. We can do we can cast this four times for twelve mana. So that's another eight damage, so eight plus eight is sixteen. They're at 17, so that doesn't work. Just gonna make this attack and level up my Vi. Because I, I can get to 12 mana, of course, by casting Living Legends. We can get more mana. This game's a little longer than those Bilgewater Noxus games. Interesting. Interesting. Would rather kill Vi. Alright, they're gonna have a probably a pretty sweet nightfall card. These unspeakable horrors have been oh incredible for them. Heart, greet the night. Raise your they got like the Cygnus, and then that Pill Cascade that was really good, and now Lunari Priestess is just the best thing to hit ever. Alright, this is a good time for this. Well, it looks like we either get Scourge or Immortal Fire or the Immortal Fire. I like the Immortal Fire, it not dying. And then we'll just spell shield this one. And I guess spell shield the other one too. I was hoping to play a couple of um Celestial cards to make the Skies Descend even cheaper, but we can still cast it right here. That should be good. GG's or not GG's? That is the question. Sweet! Alright, we get that awesome animation. They haven't run out of cards yet. Kind of want to just cast Sunburst. Punish transgressions. You'll need more than that. Because, yeah, I mean they're they're just they're just dead, right? I mean I guess they can gain life. They have to like pop this spell shield and then also atrocity that thing or vengeance and then also gain life. No, it's not Cast Ruination. Yeah, it was... No, I made the right play. I just had to hope they had Bastion and, and not Deny. Playing Ruination and then they have Bastion, that would have been... 
very bad. Alright, so Trundle or Rillian Soul, um, so I don't know, I don't... It's a difficult game to play, it's a difficult game, that's a difficult deck to play against when you're playing all spells, like we're playing, for sure. Um, this is the kind of matchup that we don't want to face, the, the Aurelian Soul decks that go really big. Uh, I'm gonna try Ruination, and see if we can Ruination some stuff, and maybe a Deny against something. We can't deny the ramp cards. It's, the ramp cards are a big problem. Them getting out faster than us. Just want to see more Noxus. I like, I like playing against the Noxus decks. Nothing escapes my watch. I have a Rosen Sentry. Yuck. That card's awesome. Water changes, but never breaks. Thought me smell something. That card's awesome too. Now we hunt. I don't want to extend too much with like playing the Fey Folk with sweepers on both sides. I taste purple. Yay. Astra need some help. No yeah, so Astra's pretty cool. When you click on Astra. Footprints here. Off we go. Yeah, this is not good. I set it up so the Weirding Stones does die to Withering Whale now. So Withering Whale can take out the 2 1 and the 0 1 also put those down to 2 health where River Shaper can fight those. Oh man. So much ramp. And you cannot deny the ramp cards. Can't deny that either. So they're gonna have nine mana next turn. Not enough for Aurelian Soul yet. Found you. What form will the waters take? Water. Good. I like that vile piece. We're at five out of six. So we know they'll have a really in soul <clears throat> next turn. So I was thinking about, I was considering file feasting my own hapless aristocrat. And then Thrash would be leveled up and I'd be able to like grasp the undying my Thrash. Wish we had leveled up Thrash. So we did kill an infinite mind splitter and an Aurelian Soul. So that was cool for a little bit. The heavens diminish without my attention. Path of 
passage unearned. <laughs> what? Peace begins with I don't know what we're going to do with that card. Vengeance will be able to take down Aurelian Soul now through the Spell I Shield. But obviously they have all of the Celestial cards. And they have a full hand. Ten cards in hand. Gross. Um, I am going to need... I'm not going to... I'm not going to deny that. I'm going to need to draw another Karma. So that we can have the inside of Ages and get that going. That's what we need. We need another Karma. I will be denying that. That is obliterate, that's not just kill. So I can't just like Cease. let that happen and then miss call. of Palm. <clears throat> All right, so we'll kill our own karma, bring it back. Double stun this thing. Back in for a bunch. Come on, another karma. Do I even block this 9-6? It's the main question. Do I block the 9-6? Let's take it. Alright, so we've killed three Aurelian Souls. Bad news is they have eight cards in hand, and I have two kind of crappy cards. Um. confident in this game going that much longer. We're gonna try to win right here. Nine damage, nine life. No. I tried. I tried. have so many cards still. I mean, it's, we have to draw another Karma. Like, that's that's what, that's what we have to draw. Um, none, of, none of these other cards are going to do it for me. We've killed two Mind Splitters and three Aurelian Souls, but they have a ton of Celestials in hand because they haven't played any Celestial cards. I guess they... I guess, no, they did play two Celestial cards. Already. We still are going to be having more. Okay. 
Karma. That's probably game now. Now another karma doesn't do anything for me. So maybe we create... Maybe we create Lunari Priestess that goes and finds something really cool with the Invoke. Maybe. This will take the chill off. Great. How about another round? Double cast this and create two Nightfall cards. There's Lunari Priestess. Good. Yeah, because it just it just double cast the same one. So yeah, we create the same one. So perfect. We created the best one we could. Lunari Priestess. Come on, Lunari Priestess! Get another Lunari Priestess? Fade Stalker. Alright, what do they have? What is this? The Great Beyond? So I can't attack, so if I attack and then they play Great Beyond, then I die. So... If they're out there, I'll spot. We have to see if, if they play Great Beyond, then I challenge with the Scourge. And I don't really want to allow them to block with the Avaros and Sentry, honestly. I know your true heart. Shining softly. Hmm. Return to us. We have one more karma left in our deck. Sure. Yeah, they, they definitely could have waited a turn with that elusive. King of Trolls coming through. This passage under does nothing. <laughs> can turn on Nightfall. So we can have double Living Legends? Well, that doesn't really do anything, but it's just one Living Legends. That's probably better than just taking one of these things. What did the stars reveal, Mother Moon? Double Living Legends doesn't really do stuff, but should I pass priority? So if I to go Comic Inspiration in, <laughs> yeah, co Comic, Cosmic Inspiration, remember this is doubled, so we'll, all of our allies will have plus four, plus four. Then I'll have six mana. So six mana can give me Serpent and a Traveler. Or we could we could play Written in Stars to draw a Thresh. 
most likely. Probably want the Traveler. Get a 7-8 plus an, an additional Invoke. I think it's better than Written in Stars. Give me a 6-7 Elusive. They're just passing. More Cosmic Inspiration? Do I need my units even larger? Or do I just take another Serpent? May all oh, those who journey find what they seek. I'm not sure exactly why the Ice Pillar isn't being played. I, mean, I guess because I can challenge and kill the Ice Pillar immediately. When others threaten, we must take action. They're letting me attack into Trundle with my 6-5. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver light enshroud us. If only these weren't fleeting. <laughs> I want those still in my hand. If this refilled my spell mana, like, you know, just got nerfed to not refill spell mana anymore. But if it did if it still did refill spell mana, I would have been able to play Written in Stars as well instead of this. Uh, I could have waited till next turn for Shade Stalkers, but I could have played the Written in Stars also. Okay. So if we attack... Kill that thing. Do not question our resolve. Look out for Reavers. Let's talk about your dad. <laughs> yeah, we need to make that card unfleeting. Ready the torches. Yeah, I would not have been surprised at Hush. Glad not Hush. At least for now. Not Hush. It's gonna be close. Knock them dead. Like one dragon left in their deck, probably a third infinite mind splitter, right? Like we've killed two infinite mind splitters and two Aurelian souls, and they just drew a dragon. So it's probably a third infinite mind splitter. Hide no longer. All right, give another plus four, plus four. Welcome to the tipsy hour. We're doubling the vile fee, so we're getting two units. Two nine nines. They can cast Hush three times. Yeah, so that Hush is the card that keeps them alive. Um, I think I still attack with Karma. Yeah, I guess we attack with Karma. That's basically the debate of attack with Karma or not. If they have Hush, they win this game. Likely. If they don't have Hush, they likely lose this game. I've got meat bigger than you. We know one of their five cards is Infinite Mind Splitter. So that's not Hush. No, they had Hush. Did 
darn. They just drew it too, it was the very last card over here, right? It's like they just drew it this turn. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Could be cool, we don't really have the room for that. Yeah, I know it was left because it was played, but whenever they played it, wasn't it also the card on the left? Do they attack here or nah? I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could, uh, just obliterate one of these things and just play Rekindler, I guess. I guess we just play this. They're not gonna attack. All right, no hush, no hush. Wow, what a game. Victory.